I found these enlightened sugar cones. They only have three carbs each. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I thought that these would be a little good addition to my um, kitchen pantry. And um, here's the nutritional information. Hi everybody, it is Wednesday. That means it's away in Wednesday. <clears throat> and I knew exactly what was gonna happen today. I got on the scale and I am two pounds up. Okay, so um, this last week, almost for a full week already, I have been dealing with another icy flare-up that's interstitial cystitis. It's um, one of my autoimmune conditions and it brings a ton of inflammation when you have a flare-up. Um, I try to stay in remission most of the time, but sometimes something sparks it. Um, and sometimes it's just a combination of things and it, it sets off. So kind of similar to a leaky gut syndrome where you, know, you have things seep out into your body that are supposed to be contained from uh, inside of your intestines. It's like uh, you have these openings in your bladder and certain you know, impurities will leak out into your body and you have a lot of inflammation. Um, there's a lot to it and there's a ton of symptoms, uh, but it could be very painful, quite painful, and it could feel like the worst bladder infection you've ever had, even if you don't have a bladder infection. Um, but this one, sometimes I I have an accompanying, an accompanying UTI with my flare-up and sometimes I don't. It just feels like it. This time I did. And um, so the UTI is not as bad as the flare-up is, but as a result, I am taking antibiotics for the UTI, but that doesn't really bring down the flare-up. At the same time, um, you may get cured from the UTI, but you still feel like you have a really bad uh, UTI because you have a flare-up. Um, and that's just, I see, that's what happens, and it happens uh, once in a while. I had probably, I think I averaged, what, two, two or three of them last year um, that were significant, and I'm starting off this year with one, which is hopefully I can get it under control, but um, but I am gonna have a lot of inflammation with it because my body's reacting to all of that. And then um, you ha you're in this constant state of pain, and so um, you can take some things to help alleviate some of it, but you always have it present. And that creates anxiety and stress for your whole body. And so you're kind of walking around, you know, always kind of tensed up because there's this constant pain there, which I'm very familiar with. And so I know it very well. And I've learned to live alongside that pain when this kind of thing happens. But it is extremely um, tiring. It's really exhausting. And, um, you know, you just wait and wait for it to stop. <laughs> so that's where I've been. Um, so I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm two pounds up. And then on top of that, I had some more stress this week because um, my kids signed, we signed them up to do, they have a historical figure day uh, presentation. So they each have to have like a report and visuals and things like that. And that had to get done within the week. They're going to be presenting on Friday. And I had to help all three of them write their reports this week. So the reports are done. I'm happy to say just about, we just have to revise one of them. And then we have to work on the visual boards now. So um, I've just been really focusing and I've had a ton of stuff going on and it's with dealing with the IC flare-up I haven't been on YouTube to watch or make videos because it's taken all of my effort just to focus on these other things while I'm in pain so anyway so I'm two pounds up that is not a big deal to me um, I think that'll come down once the flare-up ends whenever that is it could last for weeks um, and it could be gone within a couple days so we'll see um, one thing that I thought was really wonderful this morning was that uh, my husband says this quite often you know when I complain about oh you know I'm up this much and this, this is what's going on. He always reminds me that I'm the perfect size and I'm absolutely perfect and he doesn't care if I lose any weight at all or gain weight. He's like, you just, you know, 
perfect the way that you are and and I love you and and that means so much to me because it doesn't stress me out about having to you know feel like I need to lose it or move it I, I am happy uh, with where I am but I just want to be healthy and I want to be at the healthiest weight that I can be at my age with all of the uh, things going on with me so um so that's wonderful um and uh how are you doing i need to get going again here um a couple of days ago i did go to a it's like a it was like a mom's fitness thing and uh, a gathering with other homeschool moms and we had like a fitness event so we brought our mats our yoga mats and we did this big stretching event and bring a healthy snack they said which everybody did it was really wonderful um but the stretches were so i want to say intense that i was really like exhausted the next day and i think that also probably you know got some of the impurities going into my bloodstream but um at the same time it was really really nice so i've been starting back at my exercise during the last two or three days because before that when this icy floor up started i just couldn't exercise i just couldn't it was just so um so painful there's and it just exercise and even walking when you have an icy floor up, it like feels like it makes it worse and all you really want to do is sit and put a heat pad you know in this, these areas and not move and drink a lot of water and try to flush as much as possible and just rest and rest sometimes helps so much but um so I've had some interruptions on my physical journey this week because of this flare up and um, it has affected, um, you know, my movement and it's affected what I ate. I, I didn't eat, you know, badly, but it's like I didn't really want to put a whole lot of effort into my food. So I would just like make a really quick low carb soup or something like that. Something fast that I wouldn't have to stand at the stove for for a long time just because I wasn't feeling really well. So um, but anyway, so that's where I've been. Um, I still I still have the pain right now. So I'm still kind of, you know, tensed up, but um, but it's subsided enough to where I can move. Um, I'm wearing my Fitbit. I'm in a couple of challenges, which I'm so grateful for because it's helping me to just move regardless. I mean, sometimes you live with um, the IC pain when you have it for weeks and sometimes months. And it's like you can't when it's the worst, I can't really do anything. But but once it subsides a little bit and you have pain where you can move, I try to move as as much as I can as soon as I can because you don't know how long it's going to be there. And you can't just wait until everything's hunky-dory again. You have to also, you know, get back to life. So, uh, but anyway, I hope that you have had a wonderful week. I am going to try to get uh, busy here again. And I have a recipe to share with you, and I'm going to post that next. Um, but it's the, I made these healthy cookies to take the night of the mom's fitness night. And um, my kids are loving them because they can have two of them for like three sugars. It's probably less than that. Um, I'm going to let you go right now. I just want to check in with you and let you know what was going on with me. And I'll see you soon. Bye. All right, for breakfast this morning, I felt like having some huevos rancheros. And I am using two sprouted corn tortillas uh, from Food for Life. And I heated them up in the pan. I put a Jimmy Dean um, patty sausage, turkey sausage, inside here. And one over easy egg with a quarter cup of egg whites. And normally, I would put like um, salsa and tomato sauce type stuff inside and over it but I really can't have any citrus or anything spicy right now um, so I made some beans pinto beans in the instapot and I'm going to use that inside and on top for my sauce and that's just going to be really nice and add extra protein I've got an eighth of a cup of the reduced fat cheese and a quarter of an avocado the boys have been working hard on their presentation so I cannot wait to see um, how they do. I think they're going to do great.